The Summer Consumer Electronics Show was an exciting event for us here at Astounding. We rolled out our video visor and we were the hit of the show. During the three days of the convention, over 32,000 people visited our booth and we generated more inquiries than any other product that was exhibited. Here's a look at some of the action. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where I am. <laughs> See, that's, that's it. You, you may be in some virtual world there, huh? All right. Uh -huh. All right. What do you think of the image there, the image quality? I, it looks great. I mean, I was thinking if I could sit down and relax in a chair, this would be great. <laughs> I thought it was uh, very good, the dimension, especially turning your head uh, side to side, it really, uh, and being so close in front of your eyes, it's a really good feeling. It's, uh, I, I can see some very good software coming out of this too, that uh, you know, I, I've never actually uh, seen one that, that has this head tracker ability. You know, most of them, the uh, software is, is doing the dimension for you, but being able to move your head around and and the head actually doing the adjustment on screen is, uh, is quite unique. I really enjoyed the uh, interactivity. I, um, I'm also real impressed by the resolution of the display. I've seen all the different head mounts from the $8,000 ones down to actually these, the consumer level. And uh, this display is actually better than some of the better, uh, the high-end ones. Uh, the pixels, the resolution, uh, the field of view, right? The sense of immersion within it, and it's, it's great with the with the tracking system because yeah, you feel that sensation. Um, 
the only thing you got to do is, is stop putting those women in those awful outfits here in the trade show floor for all of us other women who are trying to be taken seriously. Pretty cool. You, you kind of lose track of where you really are once you're inside there. Yeah, it, it was uh, it was a neat experience. It was kind of neat. Well, do you see that when you can play video games, like you're playing a video game there? But there's also we have a virtual reality where you actually can go into a virtual world. Is that the kind of thing that makes sense to you? Or how do you feel about that technology in your home for $800? Being kind of a, a videoaholic myself, um, no, I, I think it's a logical next step to, to the process. I, no, I, I think it's a real viable alternative for home entertainment. This thing is absolutely wonderful. It was neat. It was fun. I never, I never done anything like that before, so definitely a new experience. I like it when it actually seems like you are in it, even when you know when you can more control it, where you're actually looking as to where you want to go and that's where you're going. That's I, I like that when it's kind of your own point of view control. Yeah. Wow, that's wild. I mean, it just, you could do anything you wanted. You know, you could chase the little airplane that was following you, or you could you could slam right upside the mountain and scoot over, or stop and look at the scenery. It was, I've never seen anything like it. That's really exciting. I think, I think the closest thing I can relate to is one of those 20 foot tall, 50 foot wide surround sound theaters. You know, I mean, it's just like, wow, you're right in the middle of it, only this one's even more exciting than that because it's, there's nobody else next to you, and it's all by yourself, and you're just there. Right? It's, it, it certainly felt like you were doing what it was showing. Right. Is that it's going to be a lot lighter, which is wonderful. People like it now at the show, and it's going to be about half as heavy. Isn't that right? Yes. Yes. It will be about one pound. One pound, and we're getting these great comments now. So the production model, that's terrific news. Yeah, that's right. You got the commitment from the engineering. All right. Fantastic. Thanks, guys. It was 
it's um, it's like a movie, but in 3D, it was very nice, very nice. And the quality of the image? Very good, very good, indeed. I thought it was great. I think it's the way of the future. And, and why? It's very exciting.
the buttons to move up, down, and look around. It's really easy. Yeah, that's what you said earlier, that it was a little bit hard, some of the controls. If, if you could go into a, a virtual world like that and, 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 and meet different kinds of experiences, would you like that? Yeah. And, and what would you like most about that? That, that you, you feel like you're part of the action? Or yeah. What? You feel like you're really in a different place and you don't have to... You just... It feels like you're flying through the world and stuff. It's neat. It's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's pretty real. You don't really have to go to Disneyland to see no, it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. And what do you think about, like, if you had some games, would you like that kind of technology where it's... Yeah, that would, I mean, that's much better than just uh, normal Nintendo or something like that. I like it a lot. It was pretty good. Uh, I think the big thing would be to see, you know, some different type of software, what uh, what it's capable of. But I was very impressed as far as what it could, what it, uh, could do. And, and in terms of the movements and the feeling, uh, what did what did you what did you feel about that? Uh, I thought it was pretty pretty lifelike. It was pretty good. Uh, okay, great. I'd like to see uh, you know maybe take a we kind of need to kind of see different parts of the country. Actually, see some actual footage. Go up in the Swiss Alps, do some skiing, or uh, you know hit the the beaches of uh, Cancun or something. It would be kind of a neat thing. Kind of get a yeah. real uh, effect. I think it's, um, I was very impressed with the speed of the tracking. Um, definitely there was one chasm there when I went over it and I definitely felt it in the pit of my stomach because it was enough to be able to, uh, I don't want to say cheat my senses, but convince my senses that I was going over the brink there. And uh, I think it would have some very interesting application in um, some kind of location-based entertainment if it added in some other aspects. If I was flying something or if I was doing a little more controlling, particularly I wanted to have a little more uh, kind of control over, I had a certain amount of control with my head, but it was interesting, when I would turn completely I would lose the horizon and that would get uh, kind of disorienting and that may have had, had to do with speed. Um, it would be, it'd be really interesting to have a map beforehand, maybe to have a goal and be trying to get someplace and to have it tied into an objective. But in general, the concept of this this display, mm -hmm. the the brightness, did you did you find it acceptable or or? or I found it acceptable. Um, I think you can always have higher resolution, and it can always look better. But I was impressed. That was wonderful. That was excellent. Yeah, you just talked to the camera. Um, have you seen anything like it before? Not really. Not really. I, um, we're working on experiments done at U of I for our virtual reality, but this blows everything I've ever seen away. It's not bad. It's interesting. Uh, I've seen the, several flight simulators, so that's quite a nice one. Yeah, I mean, I think it, it would be very interesting if you had interesting background. As I was saying to the guy, uh, for instance, I, I can't go under the sea because I, I don't like water, for instance. It would be great to be able to explore with that. I mean, I can see a lot of educational, actually, a lot of educational uh, interest. As you know, we are distributing the Walt Disney Classics, so we are very big on education and stuff like that. And so that's always what I'll be looking at for, something that you can use. Right. But uh, imagine this, though, actually in terms of cost. If I told you 
that this system, which would hook to a PC, which would give you that kind of interactivity, yeah. was only about $1,000, what would you say? I think that's pretty good. That is very good by what I've heard today, actually. Yeah. Whoa. The sound and the uh, video were excellent. Picture quality was pretty good. It was uh, as if you were looking at CDs, uh, that type of laser disc type quality. Uh, it was impressive. I felt like I was really there. It was incredible. It was so realistic. Um, it was very new, and I think it's something that a lot of people would really, really enjoy. It, it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, the experiencing like is as if you're really there. It's it's pretty fun. And if, if you could have that at your house and your parents decided to, you know, we'd all the family would all use it, would it be worth it? Yeah, it would be. And what kind of games would you like to play on it? Maybe if you were like in a fighting game and you and you actually saw the guy hitting him and hitting you, that'd be pretty fun. It was incredible, like, you know, anyway, any which way you look, that's where you're going. And like I said, you kind of slow down, go down slowly, go through the caverns. You were part of it. Right. Yeah, it was fantastic. Now, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Uh, do you think that it's the kind of technology that, that will expand realms for, for oh, folks? Especially, yeah, people with disabilities. Right. So, like, normally with games and stuff, it's so much using the keyboard or using joysticks. You have to have so much dexterity, which I don't have. A lot of people with disabilities don't. This, you just, most people with disabilities can move their head around and have movements in their fingers a little bit. Yeah, I can see it going so many areas with it. It was pretty intense. <laughs> do, do, could, could you, could you, do you see that going, the direction of, of the technology? Oh, absolutely. I see that people are going to want to experience more virtual environments as we move forward. Uh, there's a lot of different applications for it besides flight simulation. I think that there's a lot of things that are, people are going to want to explore. What would you like to explore? If you could create a game, what, what would you want to do? Uh, or an experience? I think I'd like to walk through a real, like instead of flying over mountains and canyons, maybe walk through a real city or a, an environment that's a little bit more um, down to earth that I could relate to more readily. I mean, being female, I think that females are looking for other experiences than men. Men are looking for, you know, they're into the shoot-up games and they're into flying and all that. Women are a little bit more into things that are a little more realistic and down to earth. Maybe something that's in a town or in an environment of, that they can relate to a little bit more so. The feeling is you're actually driving the car because when the, the car goes up, you look up, and the car goes down, you look down. It's, it's, it's great. It's a, it's a great uh, toy and also can be a great educational tool. Thank you.